Hey guys, you really seem to like the spend the weekend with me video, so we're doing it again. Come spend the weekend with me, grab a snack, let's get into it. to try a pasty? Yes, yes I am. I've never been here before, so I'm really, really interested to see, you know, how good it tastes. They're delicious. Ah. They're amazing. And I, I, that's what you tell me, yeah, so we'll yeah. see. We'll, yeah. we'll definitely see. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Ken gave me. I have a microphone now. So as soon as the new model of my camera comes out, I will have this thing on it and my sound will be so good. I always get the Reuben when I come here uh -huh. with extra Thousand Island. Yeah. And then also, the apple pasty too, for dessert. Okay. I've shown this before, so basically, these are made to be one piece and they're all bunched up so you can eat it with one hand because they were originally made for minors so they could eat while they were working. This is the Velveteen Rabbit parking lot and I wanna show you guys the back part of the Velveteen Rabbit really quick. It's so cute. Isn't it cute at night? Like it doesn't even feel like you're in Vegas. They have a photo booth, super cute, and then inside is super dark. Um, Ken, I was not aware that you were taking me off on an off-road adventure today. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's been a while, so here we are. <laughs> In my black shoes that oh, are going to be dusty. Making, so let's not step on there. As I leave footprints in the cement. <laughs> you guys, come down, check out my footprints. <laughs> I'm going to put my initials next That's to them. Hilarious. Mushroom cloud. Well, that's what it looks like. She nailed it. What is the atomic thing? It reminds me of that, like the atomic cloud. Right, right. Yeah, the a bomb. Yeah, the a bomb. Yeah. And it's like Minecraft vibes. So right there. Perfect. There you go. Love it. <laughs> No, we're asking the people. Okay, guys. Do you see this? It says do not walk. Ken seems to think that this light over here is our light, and we go by that and not that. Guys, okay, listen to me. These don't always give you the little walking man to walk across the street. Yeah, because it's not your turn. Light. No, it's they not go your by turn. Light. It doesn't, you're going to be standing, some, in some crosswalks, you'll be standing there for like 10, 15 You know minutes. why? before you can walk. Because we don't push the button. We don't there do it no right. There's one right there. I oh. don't, I'm guilty. I stand there and wait and I don't push the she, button. We literally had a whole argument in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it says, I was doing this. No, this means don't walk. And then the cars were and like I'm looking at us. To her that the light is green, the traffic is flowing in the direction we're walking. And like, there was a row of cars just watching us. Like, what the hell are these two arguing about? Because she doesn't want to walk because it gave her a stop. This, this right here. So that's all we need to stop you. <laughs> just do that and I oh, obey. <laughs> oh, hey, actually, it's 
tell you the truth, in the comments, do you guys listen to the green light, the light that actually goes out in different colors, or do you listen to the little hand and the little man thing that you guys do? The, Let us know. These are for drivers. These are for cars, not pedestrians. They'll be standing at the light for like 20 <laughs> minutes before the next time. I also get in the elevator and don't push a button. Like Cassie and I, that's always our thing. We get in together and no, we, neither one of us push a button and then we're like, you oh. Her. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> we just think some the other one's going to do it and we don't. We're just like, say these. <laughs> I don't push these buttons. I just stand there until it turns and I don't tell them I'm here and waiting. <laughs> you can take industrial to Fashion Show Mall. It's super easy. You're avoiding a lot of traffic. It's not like you have to go on the strip or get on the highway. So we're gonna pass by Sapphire up here. Um, just a reminder, if you guys wanna go to Peppermint Hippo or Sapphire, if you wanna get on my special guest list, send me a DM. I always like driving by Sapphire because all the blue. Oh, Sapphire actually has a fat burger inside now. That's new. Um, but once we leave the mall, we can jump right on the highway and it's like super easy. Hopefully the traffic is not bad. It was really bad when I drove downtown earlier. So it's almost six o'clock. Hopefully going the opposite direction, it's not too bad. Okay, so usually I park at Nordstrom. Oh, sorry girl. Um, but I need to go to the center of the mall. You have arrived. And Nordstrom is kind of like at the opposite end. So we are gonna go down here a little bit and park underground because if you park down there, like I'll show you where we're gonna park. Where we park, you just go right up and Mac is gonna be right there. So it's like a good central location. The only thing that sucks is traffic. Like the parking does kind of suck. Oh, sorry. The parking does kind of suck in this lot because it's like, a main entrance and then like all the restaurant parking so i'll show you what i'm talking about should we go to the capital one cafe and get another iced coffee <laughs> i don't know if i drink another one can i take a nap i feel like a nap would be way better okay so this is the red parking you have to be careful in this garage because i have got trapped in the corner there's like some corners to the left of here if you go down like it's really low ceilings that was very loud, sir. It's very low ceilings and you will get trapped. Oh, this guy's leaving, we'll get his spot. So if you're going to any of the restaurants at Capitol Grill, anything in the front, this is a good place to park. Or if you wanna come up in, I guess this isn't the center of the mall, but okay, so this is the front half. Nordstrom, I would say, is the back half. So the underground parking would get you in the center, just not the red color. But this is where we need to go today. Look at this car I saw. I'm pretty sure this is the car that Chrissy saw the other day. Now I have to remember which colors I was trying to get at the other location. Let's take a look at what I got. This location had everything I wanted. So the replacement green-ish shade they had, and it is called Steamy Frost. Uh, Tyler helped me. Tyler was in a previous video. He's very helpful, and his makeup is very pretty. He suggested using it as an accent color. He agreed that Humid, the green color, was amazing, and he doesn't know why they discontinued it. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. And then he suggested this color again as an accent color he said this is a gunmetal color um so we're also gonna see what we do with this i bought two of their eyebrow pencils because the eyebrow or the eye products were all 20 percent off so eyeshadow mascara eyebrows everything so it was like four dollars and 20 cents i saved on each one and i use these all the time so i'm like yeah let's get these and then they also have the powder that i'm almost out of so this is the studio fix powder plus foundation NW18 is my color, and um, I'd like to use this when I don't use liquid foundation if I just want like a light coverage, but also if I use liquid foundation, I set it with this, I put it over it. So I'm almost out of the other one, so I picked this up today. So I ended up, I ended up spending about $75 with these three products, but I did save about 10 by getting these two today, and then these were about $20 each. I think $21 yeah $21 so $42 was free and then I spent 
like 70, what did I say, 75 or something. So it worked out. So this is gonna be perfect for the store because I can like put it around the cart. So we'll take this with us. Oh my gosh, I love Girl Scout cookies. I think we have to buy some cookies, guys. vlog for tonight but I will see you guys tomorrow. I just unboxed this Target order. This is for the princess obviously. She's an influencer and her litter sells out. I ordered these two things because I saw them on TikTok so I usually do not use this brand but use this let it dry. Then you use this let it dry. Use a setting spray let that dry and then put your foundation on. I didn't try it today because I'm just doing like light makeup and powder, but I will try it and if it's amazing, I'll let you guys know. I hope you have a good day. I stopped at Starbucks because I'm very tired this weekend. I did not start it off great with two hours of sleep, but you know what? I'm gonna sleep tonight, so it's okay. So I got Starbucks. Tracy sent me a Starbucks gift card and a Krispy Kreme gift card. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. I've decided what we're doing today. Our first stop is showing you guys where you can get the best mochi donuts in Vegas. Well, we're actually not in Vegas, we're in Henderson, but whatever, same thing. This is Gabby Boutique. It is a small version of the secret coffee shop in Chinatown. <laughs> First time I came here, I tried one of the cup donuts. I got the tiramisu, which has that little like thing of liquid that you squirt in the donut, and it was good. I actually came here the first time because Tracy recommended it. And then the mochi donut strawberry is my absolute favorite, but they were out of it today. So I ended up getting espresso and chocolate. And I got one free because I checked in on Yelp. I'm going to save these for later, but this is the espresso one. And this one is chocolate. If you guys come here, you have to get the strawberry one. It's delicious. Now we are headed to Galleria Mall because I saw a new restaurant online. Well, I don't know how new it is, but I've never been there. I've never seen it at Galleria, so we're gonna check it out. Fun little fact, I used to work inside the Galleria Mall when I first moved to Vegas. I don't know where it is. I know there are a lot of new restaurants along this side of the mall. So maybe we'll just go in the main entrance and then we'll figure it out. This is the place. Be good restaurant and experience. I don't know what kind of experience we're in for, but let's check it out. So what are they getting? So they're getting the hot stone experience. The hot stone experience is our take on the fajitas. Um, oh. So normally when you get your fajitas, it'll come out on a skillet. Yeah. Like in our little twists, we actually put it on a hot stone, and that stone stays hot your whole entire meal. Oh, and cool. It's, and it's, um, and you get your onion, bell peppers, your choice of protein, start with tortillas, and a little side dish. Super simple. He also said the reverse cheesesteak quesadilla is good. He said the cheese is on the outside, so it's crispy because that goes on the grill. And he said their flights are really popular here. He said they're different flavors every time. So if you get a flight this time, next time it's completely different. Um, I'm not drinking, but I did see that on Instagram. I know I did see that on TikTok. That's how I found this place. Um, it did look really cute. When they brought me my water, the girl set it down. I said, thank you. And she's like, you're welcome. Be good. <laughs> I am gonna go with the asada barrels and the reverse cheesesteak quesadilla. I haven't had anything to eat today, and so I figure if it's a lot, I can just take it and then eat it later, because it's pretty early. It's kind of like between lunch and dinner, so I'm gonna get these two things. I don't know, do we like the pink lighting or no? <laughs> I don't know if it looks scary or it's cute. Okay, so I got all the details. So the experience is like not the Instagram photo ops, but they have like special nights. So tonight is Saturday and they have a DJ after six. Um, they have a murder mystery night. They have a magician night. Like they have themes. They have a speakeasy. So it's like a whole dining experience. When you order the hot plate, they come out yelling hot plate. The girl who brought me my water told me to be good. So it's like, it's a fun place.
These are the Asada barrels. They look so good. You guys know I love tater tots. This is the reverse quesadilla. You can see it has like fried cheese on the outside, which looks delicious. And then they also give you some tortillas with it. I asked him, I was like, why? Like, what are you supposed to do with it? And he said some people just wrap it. Like, it's up to you. Now I understand why they give you these. So, there's no tortilla. Like, I thought there was a tortilla involved in this, but the cheese is in place of the tortilla. So it's like very drippy when you eat it. So now I'm gonna try one with a tortilla. I'm gonna put it inside. today I'm already full so I feel like these two appetizers you could share with someone and not even get a meal this one is kind of spicy but you guys know I don't like spice so to me it's kind of spicy um, but having something else to eat it with I feel like it offsets that so like eat some of that let your mouth cool down eat that I definitely recommend the tortillas with this like it makes sense after seeing it because see how like liquidy it is so it's like very drippy when you eat it so I would use the tortilla. Okay, $35. Um, the tortilla charge is because I asked for two extra for my leftovers. This is their outside patio and they're in the front of Galleria Mall by the main entrance. Look at this. This is like the cutest table. I mean, I would never sit there. It's literally a swing, <laughs> but it's cute, right? And then any Mean Girls fans, we have made it to Target and I am hoping their Starbucks is open. I actually haven't been to the Starbucks at this location because it's brand new. I never go to Starbucks more than once in a day, but guys, I'm not sleeping this weekend, so here we are. Um, they have paper straws at this location, so that's different. I know the straws have changed, but these are actual paper straws and it's a new location so maybe they just you know started off with paper whereas the other ones are transitioning i like to put these in my refrigerator and you can write the date on the side so we're going to get a couple of these for the refrigerator also want to get some for cleaning purposes so we're just going to get this like the target brand or whatever Well, they have Easter stuff out already. It's February. Oh my gosh, you can make peep pancakes and peep cakes. Cute. Oh my gosh. Princess peep. I had to buy one of these because I was going through my cleaning products the other day because I want to switch over to like more natural stuff. But I have one of these and it's a refill at home but I threw away the original when I like finished, like when the bottle was empty. So it doesn't have this part, it's just the bottom. So I'm like, dang it, so I have to buy another one so I can actually use the refill when this one is finished. I love Cadbury eggs. I used to hate them when I was younger. I thought they were so gross, but I love them now. This is a new color Target bag. It kind of looks pink, but beige. Also, I love the updated stores with the new carts because you have a place for your phone, you have a place for your drinks. They have Starbucks and Ulta inside. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye guys.